Hey everyone, welcome back and sorry I know it's been a long time. Today we'll be continuing on with our Golang adventures and we'll be talking about something called packages and modules in Golang. Now packages are essentially a way of organizing code. So Go uses something called packages and modules so that it can organize code much more easily. If you're coming in from Java background, if you know Java already, then you probably know what packages are in these modules thing what I'm talking about, but more or less they're the same. The core idea behind a package is that it must and should be focused in performing one tasks and that is what we're aiming for. So a module or a package should only perform one thing at its like at perfect. So if we have a package for let's say transforming JSON modules or JSON response, then it should only do that. If we have a package for handling HTTP requests, then it should only do that. And let's uh, open up a tool called goplay.tools. Uh, I've mentioned it down below in the description. It's essentially nothing but a online editor for Go. Now, generally, when running Go programs, I'll just zoom in for you so that you can see it more clearly, is we define a package. So I'm going to say package main which is generally the first line you'll ever write. The reason for that is that this is how you define the entry point. Now, essentially this does not mean we'll, we'll have a function called main, but let's ignore it for a while. Can I, can I make my font a bit bigger? So um, here, what I want to talk about is importing packages. So let's try and create a simple hello world sort of Go program where we'll be simply printing hello world to the, to the, to the console. So let's try doing that. The first thing we want to do is of course, right, this package main. This essentially tells Go that, okay, this is the main package, the entry point that we have. We can also import packages. The simple way as I told you is nothing but writing an import. As simple as that. And I could say F empty, which is stands for formatting. Now this is the standard package included from Go. So if you head for standard library Golang, you'll actually see that we have a package.go.dev which includes all the standard. And if you search here FMT, and if I was to search for that, so here we have it. FMT, which is a package which implements the formatted input output functions with, with analogous to C's printf and scanf. And uh, yeah, here's the entire documentation for that. But we're gonna do something quite simple. So right now, let's just ignore all of what I'm writing, but just focus on the ideas here. So I'm going to type in func main, which essentially defines the function uh, main in Go. And then I can say, here's the core part, fmt.println, and then pass in some string, let's say, hello world. And if I was to call this program, or simply run this program, you'll actually see we get hello world printed to the console. So what just happened? Just like C and C++, the function main is the entry point of the program in Golang. And if, you're, if you don't know that, if you don't know C and C++, it's completely fine. Just know that the function main, whatever you type inside a function main, is the entry point. Now, for all the JavaScript developers, if you are coming from a JavaScript background, you'll be like, oh, wait, you didn't execute that main thing. You didn't call it like that. How the hell does this, this, this even run? And if I hover on this, then it says expected declaration from main. Essentially, it's saying that, okay, you already have main there. Why are you writing it like this again? The idea here is that the main function is a special function in Golang. And it's called by default. You can create more functions like func format. And let's say we create this and the fmt.println and we type in like format and if we ran this you'll still see that we just get hello world printed in the console and um can i can i get rid of this somehow no we can't but but that's that's the that's the general idea that you can see the function this format never even got printed only the main one did and if you wanted to print that you can essentially call that format inside and try running that and you'll get hello world in format so that's the gist of it the main function, again, is the entry point of the application. No matter what you do, the main function will run forever. And that is where you write your code. You can, you, sh you should not, and you shouldn't. That's completely invalid to write your logic outside. 
But that doesn't mean that you can't put your logic outside. I put the format function outside, that's completely fine. You can call this function inside. And if you have no idea what a function is, what we're doing, what the, whatever the hell is going, just completely ignore it. All you need to worry about is that how this main function essentially is working, that this is the entry point of our, of our application and it's getting called just once. And essentially that's the package for you. You can import packages like this and there's another way of doing it. If we were to import more than one package, then we can do like this. Just open up parentheses and type in the package's name. Uh, just make sure there are no commas nearby. You can do anything like this. This is completely valid. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's simple packages for you. Now that out of the way, I have a simple task for you. How about you go ahead and try to create a function that's gonna say hello world, and then all you have to do is just simply you already know how to create a function. I just showed you how to create the formatting, and I want you to create a function that will print your name after hello world. Try doing that. I would suggest you what I want you to do is like hello world and then it should print your name. Not like hello world and then on the next line it should print your name. Your name should be on the same line and if you're confused I would really suggest you to go up here check for the FMT thing and see how you can do that. Um, the challenge here is that line number 8 should stay the same. Uh, you, can, you can't change this. Well, it means you can't change the inside thing. Of course there might be something else you might want to try out here. I give the gist of it but you can try it. All right. Coming back, how we can do that is, it's really simple, just get rid of this LN because if you go to the FMT package, you'll see that we have a lot, like a hell lot of functions in here. Well, let's see, what do we have here? We have printf, now printf, uh, essentially printf is like formatted print, but if you see, like there's something called println, println essentially stands for print next line, but function print whereas it's just like print stuff out. So if I was to do print and if I was to run this thing, you'll actually see we get hello world. But now if I was to copy paste this line and type in my name, <laughs> I am misspelling my own name. And I was to run this, you'll actually see that it comes on the same line. And if I'm to put in a space here and try running it again and oh yeah, hello world and it works that, that the same way. And if I was to try to move it up in a function, you can do it like quite easily, let's say func um, print name and then you can say fmt dot print and I would suggest using print line here because we want uh, an empty line after this and then I can say sorrow and I can call this here print name and there we go if you try to run this up you'll see the same output is achieved only difference is you need to put in the space here yeah that's a typical way of how Golang works but yeah, I think this was another chunk-sized video. You, I hope you found it useful. We'll be covering a lot more, but yeah, this is quite easy to digest. I would suggest like you go around. The main idea here was not to do the simple task, but the idea was that you should be able to drag around and mess around with this library. You should be able to read what they're trying to do and what they're trying to achieve. But yeah, thanks for watching.